My name is Tim Kaysen. I'm a professor here in the Purdue Department of Economics, and I'd like to take a couple minutes to tell you about a course called Behavioral Economics that I teach in our master's program. Uh, traditional economics uh, models agents as unboundedly rational that seek to maximize their own payoffs, but a new and important subfield in economics called behavioral economics tries to create more descriptively accurate models of human behavior uh, by including factors such as bounded rationality or concerns for others that can change the outcomes of many different types of economic interactions. There are a variety of policy and practical applications of behavioral economics, such as trying to understand savings behavior and investment behavior, uh, trying to understand why people make unhealthy choices and how to guide their choices to be, uh, to be healthier, and to understand social dilemmas such as environmental protection. A number of these, uh, these topics are covered in this book, Nudge, by Thaler and Sunstein, which I recommend if you're interested. In our course, what we're going to be doing is covering a variety of different topics. Uh, one of the things we'll be looking at is what we call behavioral game theory. Game theory is used uh, in economics and other fields to try to understand strategic interactions. Behavioral game theory uh, studies how people actually uh, interact strategically uh, in these games. We'll also be looking at uh, interpersonal economic relationships, such as through bargaining and trust uh, circumstances, here we'll be applying uh, important concepts of social preferences and uh, understanding how they affect outcomes. We'll be studying social dilemmas, which is in a situation where private uh, interests and uh, group interests uh, are in conflict, and uh, such as in public goods provision, and, and how these are affected by behavioral economic principles. We'll also be studying auctions and markets uh, with asymmetric information. The approach that we'll be doing in this course will include some theoretical analysis. There is an important theoretical uh, canon of work in behavioral economics. The empirical basis for that work comes from field data, but there is an important uh, foundational uh, data from experimentation that underlies the development of behavioral economics. And we incorporate this in the teaching philosophy employed in this course. This quotation from a mentor of mine, Charlie Plott, uh, summarizes this uh, well, uh, noting that behavioral uh, principles are not sermons to be memorized, they're tools to be used once they are understood. And the understanding comes from evidence on how they work. So the experiments are intended to demonstrate and clarify the principles that are in operation. So what we want to do here is we want to do a learning by doing approach. And to do that, uh, we will in incorporate lab sessions that are quite uh, frequent in the course where the uh, uh, students in the class will be interacting through the, the internet in a series of lab exercises. I'll be posting the data from those exercises online and you will be analyzing this in the, in the course through lab reports. So just like you would conduct labs in natural science uh, courses, uh, here we're conducting labs uh, in this economics course to understand the behavioral economic principles at work. So it's a unique course and I hope uh, I have a chance to see you in it soon. Thanks.